Teaching Civics with the Case Method, an opportunity for Oregon high school teachers. Presented by the League of Women Voters of Portland in cooperation with the Case Method Institute and Gresham, Oregon teacher Philip Clark. In 2019, Centennial High School teacher Philip Clark attended a free three-day workshop at Harvard Business School to learn the case method from renowned author and teacher Professor David Moss. Professor Moss's Democracy, a Case Study, invites us all to experience American history anew and gain a deeper understanding of our democracy's strengths and weaknesses. In October of 2021, Philip conducted a community case discussion to demonstrate this unique method of teaching history and civics. This method, I think, not only provides like amazing information and well-researched history, but also provides a lot of opportunities for students to bring their knowledge to the classroom, to, to really sort of reason with, with the facts and, and to come out, you know, understanding that the people in history are people. The case method is a participatory, discussion-based way of learning. A case is a short narrative document that presents a particular challenge facing an individual or organization. Each case reflects the information available to decision makers at the time and builds to a particular decision point, but without revealing what decision was actually made. Professor Moss is pretty incredible. Uh, you know, it's they're very big shoes to fill when I'm doing this myself. Watching him do it and, and being a part of it, you definitely get caught up in it. And that I think was the best thing for me because that's what I want for my students too. The case Philip demonstrated focused on the story of Martin Luther King Jr. and the struggle for black voting rights. It describes the various strategies employed by civil rights activists with a special emphasis on the civil disobedience protests of the modern civil rights movement and culminates in Martin Luther King's decision of whether to lead protesters across Pettus Bridge on the famous protest march starting in Selma, Alabama on March 9, 1965. When they read the case and they they learn about all the different little things that were happening everywhere and the length of time this stuff took to get to that famous point that makes the difference. Uh, I think they can, they can realize that even at their age, they can start to have an impact on society. I liked the feeling of participating in the history, making the decisions like they, they would have in the past. I enjoyed how much detail it went to in relation to more of the human aspects of it and it kind of it showed more point of views and it's easier for us to understand how and why that happened in the past. I think what I liked best about the case discussion was seeing kind of the group thinking being tracked on the whiteboards. I felt like that was really inclusive from the facilitator standpoint, as well as a good place to stay grounded in the conversation. I like that it takes a lot of history and packs it all into a thematic approach and taking specific times to stop and go, okay, we're gonna look at this one very specific question, this one specific moment of time, and we're gonna be able to uh, be able to answer a lot of really good historical questions. And speaking to the people here today, you know, even, even people who, um, you know, have first-hand knowledge of this time period and, and, and saw this stuff on TV and all of that kind of thing, they're able to say, oh yeah, like the way that these two things that I knew about link together and play into the wider story of this event. The readings for each case provide background on the most relevant issues leading up to that decision point. They are meant to contextualize decision-making, aid in providing multiple perspectives, and show that decisions are not made in a vacuum. When I got accepted to, to go to Harvard, we got sent all of the readings that we needed to do. So the reading, when it arrived, is how I imagine my, my students might feel when I hand them 23 pages of college-level text, except mine was 150 pages. It was helpful to have like the article in advance to read through to formulate your own opinions. Giving them a kind of denser, high-level text um, t shows them that you take them really seriously. As they read, they can mark off portions in the passage that can help actually help them and so for students who may be a little bit more timid or afraid of talking in class if they know that they can come prepared and have their reasonings already prepped they're not going to be as afraid to talk and it will uh, more students will chat you start getting the students that maybe didn't pay as much attention to the reading forming ideas off of the stuff that's going on around them and they start to 
get involved in the process too. I think that um, case discussions would be really beneficial if they were put into regular curriculum. I would be interested to see how maybe this method could be applied to other subjects. I know I, I'm going to absolutely find a way to incorporate this in my U.S. history class this year. Teachers also discovered that the case method, when combined with the proper educational support, can make material written for a college audience accessible to students at all reading levels. I like that it gives the opportunity for the students to really think about these cases on a deeper level instead of focusing on names and dates purely. I think it's really easy to focus on what happened and not um, all the thinking and the planning that went into the decisions. And I think that um, students d like crave a different type of history education. This is a really valuable resource for us. Um, once we're trained in the method, we have a lot of options here for how we bring it to the classroom and what content we deliver. The Case Method Institute for Education and Democracy offers its free training workshops to teachers of U.S. history, U.S. government, and civics in public, private, and charter high schools. Teachers who complete the free Case Method training have access to all 22 of the Case Method Institute's other U.S. history cases at no charge. The Institute also provides free support and supplemental materials to train teachers who use the method in their classes. To learn more, visit the Case Method Institute's website www.cmi.org. To apply for training, click Contact Us on the CMI.org website and fill out the application form. All U.S. history, U.S. government, and civics teachers currently teaching in grades 9 through 12 are eligible. Thanks to Philip Clark, Centennial High School, the Case Method Institute, members of the League of Women Voters of Portland, League of Women Voters of Greenwich, Connecticut, Metro East Community Media, Funding from the Herbert A. Templeton Foundation.